Good morning to all participants. First of all, I want to thank the Congresso Brasileiro de Automática for giving me the opportunity to present this work. My name is Luis Gustavo Cordero Bautista and I'm working with Professor John Freddy Franco Baquero doing research about integration of distributed energy resources on distribution networks at the Electrical Engineering Department of São Paulo State University, Campus Ilha Solteira. The title of this presentation is Probabilistic Power Flow Analysis based on Point Estimate Method for High Penetration of Photovoltaic Generation in Electrical Distribution System. This presentation consists of five sections. First, a brief introduction on the context of distribution networks. Second, uncertain variable modeling for demand and solar irradiation. Third, a general step implementation for 2M plus 1 point estimate method, as well as the edge worth expansion to obtain probability distribution curves. Then the method is applied to the IEEE 33 bus modified with PV generation in order to evaluate its performance. Some results are presented, such as index of accuracy, probabilistic curves and confidence intervals, as well as computational efforts. Finally, conclusions regarding PM performance apply to the probabilistic power flow, as well as some points regarding future research pathways. So, let's get started by a brief introduction of power system concept, where power plants supply energy all the way through transmission distribution to customers, thus operating with unidirectional power flow. For distribution networks, an introduction of distributed energy resources has been taking place in recent decades, which is meant to reduce carbon emissions from traditional fossil fuels. For instance, the ER may consist of wind, photovoltaic power generation, batteries and electric vehicles. Particularly, PV systems adoption widespread into the distribution network due to its cost-competitive option. This technology brought system support benefits, bill reduction and independence from traditional fossil fuels. However, the traditional distribution network was not designed to operate under, under intermittent power generation, and this poses issues uh, such as power flow reverse, over voltages, and thermal overloading. In this context, a traditional deterministic power flow is not enough to capture the system behavior to evaluate impacts of non dispatchable generation into the system. For this reason, a probabilistic power flow is essential to cope with these uncertainties. For instance, the Monte Carlo simulation applied to the probabilistic power flow, and this presentation will cover a probabilistic power flow based on 2M plus 1 point estimate method. So, the normal distribution function is considered to represent low behavior for active and reactive power. For instance, equation 1 describes a normal distribution for a low as depicted in a figure. Now, power injections from PV systems are intermittent due to stochastic nature of solar irradiation, which can be modeled to using equation uh, two. For instance, the picture shows probability curves for a specific hour in summer season of solar irradiation. So, in order to, model, to evaluate PV power injection distribution for a specific PV module by equation number three, the following PV technical specifications of a heat module and irradiation cumulative distribution is used. Now, let's describe how, to, how the 2M plus 1 Point estimate method works. This technique only performs 2m plus 1 times a deterministic power flow, where m represents a total number of uncertain variables. For instance, the figure shows a probability density function of active power, where two concentrations are selected based on location using equation 4 and weight using equation 5. This technique uses skewness and kurtosis information of the uncertain variable to determine its standard location by equation 6. So, for each location, a deterministic power flow is calculated, while the remaining variables are fixed to the respective values. Finally, an additional deterministic power flow is calculated using respective values for all uncertain variables. Once it is computed all deterministic power flows, statistical information can be obtained using equation 9 for a specific variable of interest. Another way to represent the statistical information of a variable is using their cumulants, which can be calculated using equation 10. In order to approximate probability curves, the edge worth expansion is applied up to its fifth order of cumulants using equation 11 and a normal distribution reference function by equation 12. For instance, the picture shows a blue line curve, which is the edge worth expansion approximation describing the behavior of a voltage. A general implementation for a 2M plus 1 point estimate method is applied to the probabilistic power flow. First, initialize variables define a circuit and uncertain variables modeling. Then an uncertain variable is selected and concentrations are calculated to perform a deterministic power flow for each location. By doing so, statistical information is updated 
for a variable of interest, and it continues until all n variables are evaluated. Then an additional deterministic power flow is calculated and, up, and the moments are updated. Finally, using this information, the edge word expansion is applied to obtain the probability curves approximation. From this point of head, case study and results will be presented. Basically, the process goes on defining the circuit and certain variable modeling, calculation of raw moments. Using this information, statistical analysis such as expected and standard deviation, as well as probability curves can be calculated. And this information is of special interest for the system operator for decision making to accept or not a higher or lower value of probability regarding over voltages, power flow reverse, and assets utilization. So in order to validate the performance of the method, the IEEE 33 bus radial distribution system is modified with PV generation. This system works with a nominal voltage value of 12.66 kV and the low demand is 3.7 MW and 2.3 MW. This study considered four cases, a baseline without PV generation, case 2, two PV systems, case 3, uh, four PV systems, and case 4, six PV systems. So to assess the quality estimation of the method, it is compared to Monte Carlo simulation, which is commonly used for benchmark purposes. Uh, the average root, root mean square index is used for expected and standard deviation. The Monte Carlo technique simulates 10,000 scenarios and low standard deviations are set arbitrarily between 5 to 10 percent. Then the PV power injection uh, for a solar radiation is modeled by a specific hour in summer season. Also, the maximum PV generation is considered up to 1 point megawatts peak. So regarding index of accuracy, it can be observed that the method presents a good degree of accuracy by small errors for expected and standard deviation values along voltages, active and reactive power flow, current, active and reactive power flows. For the coming results, it will be observed how PV power injection impacts on the behavior of state variables. For instance, case 1 presents voltages below minimum value of 0.95 per unit along its profile and subtle standard deviation for both voltages and power flow. It is also presented power flow, power loss values. On the other hand, for the case 2, 3 and 4, PV systems improve voltage profile at the expense of increasing uncertainties by larger standard deviations as shown in the pictures. Moreover, over voltages, probabilities um, increases and more reversion, a power reversion begins to increase in the system. So, the point estimate method is combined with the edge word expansion to obtain probability density functions and cumulative distribution function. So, let's give a look at the main field behavior, which is also affected by the PV power injection along the cases. And also, it is presented a 90% confidence interval of power through main feeder for each case, which can be directly obtained from their cumulative distribution. Rapid observation of PDF and CDF points out that the edge worth expansion yields high fitting accuracy for each case. In planning, the confidence interval of branch power flow and asset utilization is of great importance to prevent overloading. Finally, compu its computational effort comparison. For this study, a traditional power flow is carried out within a map lab environment and using the following computer features. The point estimate method combined edge word expansion takes on average 4 seconds and the Monte Carlo simulation for benchmark results considering 10,000 scenarios takes on average 220 seconds. Some conclusions are drawn from this study. Probability power flow provides essential information, st essential statistical information to system operators for planning and decision making regarding technical issues. The method overcomes the lack of perfect statistical information reaching acceptable statistical results compared to Monte Carlo. State variables estimations are measured by RMS index, which proves a good degree of accuracy by acceptable errors. High fitting accuracy is observed for PDF and CDF curves by H worth expansion, thus overcoming the lack of perfect statistical information. And finally, computational burden is considerably lower, which makes the method promising for practical applications. So for future and ongoing projects, the point estimate method can be applied for unbalanced three-phase distribution system to account for other DER and certain variables modeling and control methods and risk minimization MDR integration. So I thank you all your for your attention and I will be available for further discussion on comments or comments on this topic.